What's going on guys, British Brad here, welcome back to another story, and today's story is one of my own stories that happened to me while I was there. Now this is the story about how my friend nearly got us kicked out of the gym. So at this point in time, I was pretty regular at the gym, I was about halfway through my training, so about six months I've been there for. So me and my friend were looking in pretty good shape. My friend wants to get into fighting and like boxing and stuff, so he's like, oh hey Brad, so can we take up going into the boxing area? There's no one in there, we can just, you know, do some punching bags, maybe do some pads, whatever, um, and we'll hang out. And they go, yeah, sure, whatever, I mean, I'm, I'm always up for more training. Anyway, so we go in there, it's all dark, and I turn the light on, and we get everything set up. My friend goes, hey, Brad, do you want to take a quick picture before we do it? So, that's irrelevant, but I say, yeah, okay, fine, we'll take a quick picture, um, yeah. Anyway, so we're taking turns on the punching bag and taking turns doing pads, and we're both getting knackered at this point, you know, with, with proper, like, training. And this goes on for about an hour. We take turns on the punchy bag, a little bit on the pads, and I also made him do a stamina test, and he also made me do it, which is where you punch repeatedly at the pads until you are completely tired, which really does work, guys. It really does knack you out. Um, I can go from personal experience with this. A quick though, guys, just wanted to say, um, we were using MMA gloves instead of boxing gloves on the punching bag, which I'm going to say right now, don't do, guys. It can absolutely knack your wrist. Like, there was this one time where I came home and I was laying in bed and I tried to pick up my computer with my with my hand and it just wasn't working. Like, it was just slipping out of my fingers. I was like, what the hell's going on? I was It was actually a bit scary, guys, to be honest with you. So, yeah, if you're going to do boxing, do it with the proper equipment and don't use MMA gloves. So we started making it a regular thing that we'd go in and do some boxing after we finish our training session. So the cycle was we would go in do our training, bodybuilding, and maybe a bit of cardio, and then we would do some boxing afterwards. Oh, and by the way, if you're watching this, friend, um, you still have my punching pads, and I kind of want them back, so please, can I have my punching pads back? But we always felt like something was missing when we were doing this. We're like, okay, this is fun, this is all good and all, but I feel like something is missing. And my friend would always make a suggestion, like, I wish I could put some music on. And we didn't know this until, like, halfway through the whole thing but my friend could link his phone up to the yoga system which is what they use for like well yoga classes what they do on you know mondays and fridays and he was like oh hey brad we could i could hook my phone up to this yoga system and i can hook it up to the whole speakers and i was like yeah yeah that's a good idea anyway so my friend hooks his phone up to the yoga system and he puts music on the first two songs great you know they're just like you know general workout songs but then he makes the idea of oh hey i'm gonna put kanye west i love it on now guys if you don't know what that song is i recommend you google it right now or search it up on youtube whatever and then continue watching this video just to get the full context of what i'm talking about the thing with my friend guys is when he listens to music it has to be on full blast it can't just be quiet it can't just be it has to be it has to be like that anyway so this song kanye west i love it's playing and i'm like oh my god and the song's going like you know it's starting up and all that and yeah that song was blasting and in case you didn't look it up or in case you don't know what it is it's actually a song about sex, okay? It's a song about sex. Just kind of get let you guys know exactly what I'm talking about. We're training, doing our thing, and the music's actually helping because it kind of, you know, covers up your sound of your heart saying, Please stop! Please stop, Brad! Please stop! <laughs> but what we didn't know was not only did the yoga system do the speakers for that room we were in, but it also did the speakers for the whole gym. So that song about sex was playing throughout the whole gym. So people are like in the changing room, people who are in the swimming area, people who are doing weights can hear this song about sex and an in-depth, you know, song about sex. And that is playing through the whole bloody gym. And we didn't know until the manager comes in, <laughs> all like red face, like, turn it down and or turn it off. <laughs> And we were like, oh my god! Anyway, so he goes, ah! Turn it down. And she says, I'm sorry, it was playing in my office and I could hear it blaring through the things. I can't hear myself think. All I can hear is, that's all, all, that's all I can hear. So please, turn it down or just turn it off. Anyway, so we're laughing and joking like, yeah, sorry, sorry, we didn't, we didn't know. And yeah, that's how my friend and I basically turned the gym into a nightclub and almost got kicked out because of it. Oh my god, just thinking about it now, the manager's like sat there trying to fill out paperwork and she's trying to, and all she can hear is, I love it in the background. Oh my god, that, that sounds pretty bad. I think about it. Anyway guys, that'll do it for today's video. I hope you enjoyed today's story. This is one of my stories. I thought it was pretty funny to tell. And yeah, uh, stay safe, stay cool, and I'll see you on the next one. Peace out.